CoreLogic data has found Sydney House values dropped by 0.1% in October, the first drop in Sydney House prices in almost two years. Joining me live is Australia Institute Chief Economist Greg Jericho. Greg, thanks for your time. How significant Morning. is this drop in Sydney House prices? And the big question, will it continue? Oh, look, I think it's been a long time coming. And uh, as you point out, it, it's just a very small drop. I mean, 0.1% is is probably not going to be noticed and uh, it could very easily be erased. I mean, what we're seeing from other data is that, you know, home loaning, lending is still sort of rising quite solidly, which when you extrapolate that forward generally leads to higher house prices. So I don't think we're in the in the middle of a bubble bursting here yet. I think uh, what we're just seeing is a bit of a moderation after some pretty solid rises over the past couple of years. And uh, I think most prospective ha homeowners would be looking at this and going, yeah, it's still uh, not enough to make it really affordable for me anytime soon. Yeah, just the natural ebbs and flow of the market. Well, following on from this week's inflation CPI data results, what's the latest consen consensus about when the RBA will cut rates? And do you think that those numbers changes the RBA's thinking uh, at all for their next decision on Melbourne Cup Day? Look, I don't think they'll change too much for Melbourne Cup Day. I think the general consensus, and it's pretty strong, is they won't do anything. What we have seen is some banks suggesting that a rate cut might come sooner than they were previously thinking. So we're, you know, February perhaps is, is now whereas uh, uh, before these figures, there was a suggestion maybe March, April. And so I think uh, certainly the government would be happy with these figures. I mean, we've got inflation under 3% for the first time since 2021. And the good news, especially for the Reserve Bank and those worrying about interest rates, is the trim mean, that core inflation, that's also been coming down quite steadily and now is at 3.5%. So it's really sort of getting in that place where there's not so much of a panic, really. No one is thinking that... Uh, you know, inflation's out of control. It's all pretty clear that uh, the worst is behind us. And now it's about, OK, what's going forward? When can the Reserve Bank actually start worrying perhaps a bit more about unemployment rising than inflation rising? And when they start switching over to that line of thinking, that's when we start seeing rates come down. Yeah, and we know businesses and households are hurting at the moment. If a rate cut comes later than February, what sort of impact is that going to have? You mentioned a rise in unemployment potentially. Yeah, well, the Reserve Bank is still sort of expecting unemployment to go to 4.5%, and, you know, that's a significant rise from where it is now at 41 The unemployment rate has actually been quite resilient in the face of these 13 interest rate rises. So I certainly would hope that the Reserve Bank looks at this as a bit of an opportunity to try and lock in unemployment at around 4% and say, actually, this could be sort of the new norm rather than think we have to go back to the old norms. And I, I get the feeling that uh, the pressure is now mounting on the Reserve Bank to stop worrying about things that happened in the past, about inflation, which is we know the peaks are now over a year, nearly two years ago, start worrying more about is this economy really going as fast as it should be. Households are doing it tough. We know small businesses very much been doing it tough and they also have to pay those high interest rates in small business loans and overdraft loans. So I certainly think that a res uh, an interest rate cut should come sooner than later because I think now the real worry is about a slowing economy, not rising inflation. Well, I think there's a lot of people that would hope that you are right. Greg Jericho, thanks so much for your time today. Appreciate Sorry, it. Kenny.